morning students today we are going to see the one more problem on the norton's theorem so the problem statement is find the norton's equivalent circuit between x and y so this is a circuit given we need to find the norton's equivalent between x and y so first we know the we need to find the in so the solution is here so if you want to find the in first we need to make the short circuit of this so first i will short circuit this and find the in in this section okay so first step i will assign the loop currents for this this i will assign as x here i will assign as the y here i will assign it as the z so i will assign the loop currents then from the diagram or from the circuit diagram we get that ix is nothing but minus x or x is nothing but minus ix so remember this first step then we need to apply the kvl for this so second point first we will apply the kvl at this section so it is 4x 4x plus 10 is equal to 0 so x value is equal to minus 10 divided by 4 this is equal to minus 2.5 amperes so this is the x value we have got then uh, one more i need to write the constant equation at the third step the constant equation is what is z z is nothing but 2 into i x so we have found the x value x is 2.5 so z value i will get it as minus 2x so this is nothing but minus 2 into minus 2.5 so this is nothing but 5 amperes okay z we have found then we need to find the y so one more kvl if i apply to the loop y i am going to get as minus 10 plus 5 into y minus z is equal to 0 so this is nothing but 5y minus 5z is equal to 10 so we know the value of z so substitute in this so 5y is equal to 10 plus 5 into 5 25 so it, this value we will get it as 5y equal to 35 that implies y is equal to 7 amperes okay so this y itself is nothing but in that is in is equal to y is equal to 7 amperes we have got the in so next is we need to calculate what rn so for rn we will short uh, this short circuit the or deactivate the sources so if i deactivate the sources rn if i deactivate sources it will become here it is 4 then this is deactivated at this point then here it is 5 then at the top
x y this is 4 this is 5 this is 2 i x here is i x then we need to find r n from this direction so we don't have any sources no voltage source is presented this in the circuit so there is no question of i x in the circuit then if no i x is there then dependent source this also becomes zero this is also zero this is also zero then we need to ignore this if no current flows in this resistor ignore this then remains only one resistor that is 5 ohm resistor so the remaining is Rn equal to 5 ohms so the redraw or Norton's Norton's equivalent circuit is the current source is 7 amperes the 7 amperes current source in upper direction then in parallel with the RN resistor this is 5 ohm RN resistor 5 ohms then this is in between X and Y so this is in between X and Y so this is the Norton's equivalent circuit for the circuit given which is having the dependent source so the next further classes will continue with some more problems thank you